Mission Pumpable Concrete. This is uh, Mr. Chetan Ji Gunapure, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Virtual Institute of Technology, Solapur. Uh, these are the learning outcomes. Uh, at the end of the session, student will be able to explain the design consideration for pumping of concrete. Now, let's see what is meant by pumpable concrete. So, as an introductory part, the concrete which can be pushed through a pipeline is called as a pumpable po concrete. Uh, now, the pumping means uh, the concrete must act as a fluid or it must pass as a fluid through the pipeline. So, concrete is made in such a way that its friction at the inner wall of the pipeline doesn't pick up very high so that it can move uh, smoothly. Uh, it doesn't wedge while flowing through the pipeline. And co pumpable concrete emerging from a pipeline flows in the form of plug. So, let us see the process of concrete pumping. Uh, this is the diagram or figure 1 in which concrete flow under pressure is shown. The references or sources given here. You can see here pressure is applied to this concrete mass and at these two inner walls surfaces concrete moves as a plug and uh, these are two lubricating films. And if the lubricating films are there, then the friction will be less and the whatever resistance is offered, that resistance we offered will be less, pressure is applied and your concrete will flow. So, these are two drag means forces which are uh, creating resistance against this pressure. Okay. So, the plug is separated from the pipe wall by a thin lubricating, lubricating layer consisting of cement paste can see here at these two inner walls. The pressure generated by the flow resistance must not be greater than the pump pressure. So, this pressure must be greater than this resistance. So, this will facilitate the continuous movement which is expected. Now, next thing, one more diagram is there or figure is here in which concrete saturated at a very higher water cement ratio. If you have a water cement ratio is higher, high probably that will be very uh, very fluid liquid. So, in that case what happens in this diagram the pressure is applied here. Concrete with the higher water pressure for a certain pump pressure it may be such a way that water is forced out of the mix creating increase in the flow resistance. So, water will flow out, out of this mass of aggregate and the fine aggregate will remain. So, so, the migration of this mixed water will increase the flow resistance and this will lead to the blockage. So, the possibility of the blockage is because of this phenomenon. Now, concrete with lower water cement ratio, it becomes very stiff and it will be very low workable. So, low water cement ratio will give you low workable mix, higher water cement ratio that will create or increase the, the flow resistance. So, that we have to uh, cre uh, keep the proper water cement ratio. So, this all this process in other words we can explain a very steep concrete is not pumpable and uh, concrete with high water cement ratio is also mute pumpable. Now, these are the design considerations for pumpable concrete. First is the proportioning of the mix is very important. You, we should proportion our mix proportion of the aggregates, fine aggregate, cement as well as water so that uh, it must be able to bind all the constituent materials together under pressure from the pump. Second is it also should avoid segregation and bleeding. Th these are two natures segregation and bleeding of the concrete. It may be pumpable or may not be pumpable, but these two natures must be avoided. This is the regular problem in the concrete which shall not should not occur uh, during pumping also. Now, the proportion of the mix must be able to deform while flowing through the bends. So, concrete or first generally for a small short length there will be horizontal pumping then uh, it will be lifted uh, vertically. So, bend will be def definitely there. So, the concrete must deform in such a way that proportioning is expected. So, proportion of fine uh, that is cement and fine particles below 0.25 mm size is very important. Quantities of the fine particles which I have just uh, discussed regarding the cement and uh, fine particles of the fine aggregate must be in between 350 to 400 kg per meter cube 
and this is necessary for the pumping. Now this above quantity is not only required for uh, maintaining the lubricating film in the pipe, but it is also required for quality and workability. So fines are very important from workability point of view and that will uh, lead to give you proper pumpable concrete. Now uh, these are the causes of occurring blockages. First cause, water is being forced out of the mix which creates bleeding and blockage by jamming. So water, uh, if it is forced, means just I have seen you uh, when the higher water cement ratio is used and the water is uh, migrating from the mix. So this will create the bleeding or blockage by jamming. Second is higher frictional resistance. If your ingredients are uh, or nature of the ingredients in such a way that it will give you uh, very higher resistance. So in that case also there will be the blo blockages. Now let us see this figure uh, which is uh, expressing relationship between the cement content and aggregate void ratio. On y axis cement content is there, on x axis aggregate void ratio. So you can see there are two uh, belts, uh, so nature is explained here. These are two extreme conditions also. Uh, if you go for very high cement content in the mix with the low aggregate void ratio, probably you will get uh, excessive frictional resistance. If you go for low cement content and very high aggregate re void ratio, you will get excessive se segregation and bleeding nature concrete. So we should keep moderate cement content, moderate aggregate void ratio so that we can get the pumpable mixes. So this is just uh, for the judgment, uh, this figure we can use. And uh, if you go for in this region, this will be uh, the marginally pump will work at very high pressure. If you go in this region, so there will be a nature of segregation. Now my question based on the earlier figure. If the mix is having low aggregate void ratio, and high cement content of the concrete, what it will result in? The options are A, pumpable mixes, B, excessive segregation and bleeding, C, pumping at uh, high pressure and D, excessive frictional resistance. So you pause the video, think on that, observe the figure and write down the answer. The answer is excessive frictional resistance D. This is the answer. Okay, so you, you observe the figure, then definitely you can give uh, the nature of the concrete based on the aggregate void content and cement content. Now these are the important guidelines for pumpable concrete. Now we should uh, use the crushed aggregate, natural aggregates, so which are suitable for pumpable concrete. Next is we should be aware of void content of aggregate, grading of aggregate and uniformity in the quality of aggregate. So these things very uh, important for pumping. Next is we should adjust the slump of our concrete 75 mm to the collapse range means above 75 slump is required for pumpable concrete. Now next thing is the diameter of the pipeline it must be at least 3 to 4 times the size of aggregate so which will facilitate a proper pumping. Now let us see what are the common problems in general in pumping of concrete. Most common problem is blockage which uh, the cause we have seen two basic causes of the blockage we have seen. But uh, during uh, pumping what common problems are facing because of the blockage that is uh, concrete fails to emerge at the end of pipeline. We are not getting a concrete at the end of the pipeline. The pump is mechanically sound, concrete is not emerging, it would mean that there is a blockage. So we can understand the somewhere concrete is blocked in the pipeline. Next is the pressure gauge is showing very high pressure or increase in the pressure and uh, according to that the concrete is not pumped that is also one sort of uh, uh, problem and uh, we can say that there is a blockage somewhere in the pipeline. Now most blockages happen at the tapered section at the pump end. So we must handle that pump end uh, properly and it must be kept uh, uh, with the proper shape. Now these are the reasons for blockages. First reason unsuitability of the concrete mix. So proper improper, uh, proportioning, improper proportioning then uh, uh, improper workability means whatever workability is considered for the mix that is not assured 
during uh, while working. Then the pipeline and joint deficiency is an operator's error. This is uh, one of the reason. Next, high temperature. For high temperature, we are working. Then definitely there will be loss of the water from the mix, and then the blockage is pro the may may be the reason. Next is use of admixture. If accelerating type of admixtures are used with uh, high grade cement, uh, definitely that will set very fast, and uh, we will get uh, the problem of block blockage. Now continuous pumping is not done, means intermittent pumping means somewhere we have stopped and again the pumping started, discontinuous pumping will lead to the blockage and a pipeline which is not well cleaned after the previous operation and uncleaned worn out horses, horses too many and too sharp bends, use of worn out joints are also other reasons, mechanical reasons for blockages. These are the references which I use for this uh, session, thank you.